This is Alon El Bagli, a very good friend of mine, amazing, amazing guitar player and also producer. We actually went to school together. We went to new school. We did. And uh, by chance, we're also native of the same country. Yes, we are. <laughs> uh, cheers to that. Cheers to that. Thank you for the lemon juice. Wow. <sighs> <laughs> When I started playing guitar, one of the things that kind of blew my mind is people like Alon. They would take a very, very simple progression, um, maybe even like two chords, okay? And he would, you know, I'll just listen and I'll see him doing all these cool things, both harmonically, but also melodically. What could be really cool is to try and take something very simple and, and see how we get from that moment into something that is really cool. And we're gonna work on five levels of a progression alone will bring. How about this? Three, four. B flat? F minor. Like a solo, you solo, but something really simple, just a lot of space. Mm. I like that. Mm. I'll start, we can trade. So now let's add something. Okay. Talk to me. I'm thinking arpeggios, but like simple ones, like triads, you know, mostly. Okay. One, three, fives, they say. Yeah. But let's add, so let's add one more chord. Let's add like an E flat like or something. Mmm. Ooh, like this one. Oh, nice. Is there a 
synth version? Uh, we can have pentatonic. Ooh, you like I that? Yeah. <laughs> what would you do? But E flat pentatonic. Oh. But here's something more simple. Uh, you can actually play the good old F minor pentatonic. Let me Let's try that. It. Let's hear it. So just. color too. Yeah, bit. exactly. So, what about, I like the C7 a lot, but I want to create a little bit more motion. Mm. So, I'm just playing an inversion, right? Yeah, like E flat over G you do? Exactly. So like, I like that. If you're feeling this video, please check out Alon's TikTok. He has a ton of mini lessons there. They're super awesome, and like you see, he's an incredible musician. Um, if you're digging this, also there's um, the PDF for this video on the Patreon, and also a bunch of stuff there. So feel free to support. Thank you. So I think for me, when I think about these progressions, a lot of times I have like anchor points, right? Yeah. So here, in a way, you brought this progression and you said hey man check this out D flat and F minor right so for me those were kind of the two anchor points that I was thinking about it's really good to think about the major and the relative minor of a key it's not that you're married to just one right exactly. and, and that and I think that's what brings a lot of options if you know you're an F minor and also when you know that you're also in A flat major so yeah. it's not like one or the other I think like people get confused it's like wait are we in the minor key or we in the major key it's always a mishmash and it's good to think about it this way. And that's how we come up, you know, that's how you came up with it. Oh, that's at the E flat, because that's kind of like off the A flat. Right, Major right, right, right. vibe. And then this is from the minor vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, it's all colors. Dude. Bro. So fun. Man. Thank you for having me, man. Thank you, dude. Yeah. It's, it's so fun to play and hang. And yeah, and talk about these kind of things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We just nerd out about guitar, like... All day. Yeah, all day. <laughs> So, um, yeah, thanks for coming. Thank sure, you guys man. for listening and hanging out with us today. Maybe also tomorrow. And see you guys very soon.
piece. Right. Let's play a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 